So Tesla just released its much anticipated FSD beta 10 V version, which Elon Musk said will blow minds. Now, based on the first clips uploaded on the newly released update, it appears that full self-driving beta 10 features some UI changes to start. The driving visualizations have been cleaned up for one, and the icons on the left side of the display have been rearranged for the Model 3 and Model Y. In my previous video, I showed, um, I shared and talked about a, a video clip of FSD Beta 10 by Tesla Raj, who talked about how he liked the zoom out at intersections. And as your car for, uh, entered the uh, intersection, it was zooming out, giving you much more visualization. Now, performance wise, a number of FSD Beta testers have mentioned that their vehicles now behave like a driver that's more experienced than before. Like I said, Tesla Raj, whose Model 3 has been in the FSD Beta program since October 2020, noted after an initial drive that his vehicle's advanced drive assistance system feels better and more solid intersections and roundabouts were handled very smoothly by V10 as well. In this report, I want to talk about his next clip, which he showed, talks about roundabouts. So look at his video that you've been seeing on your screen, how roundabout also is very smooth on the new FSD Beta 10. I'm looking at some of the comments on the his Twitter where he shared the video. Um, as you can see, his car enters the roundabouts and it smoothly does the roundabout. Jesse Prescott asks him a question asking, uh, looks like it's still quite hesitant getting started there. Hard to tell. Tesla Raj uh, replies saying, definitely stops early to view and creep, but the actual turn was very confident. Another person, Gregory Krum, asked him, did you have to top accelerator make it go? Looks like message popped up on screen. Tesla Raj says, nope, no accelerator used that message indicating it was creeping uh, and checking visibility. So it looks like uh, it's looking like an unexper uh, more experienced driver in this FSD, uh, the full self-driving itself. So what do you think, friends, about those two things that so, you so far you have seen? You know, after much anticipation about the FSD, which was created by Tesla CEO Elon Musk, uh, Tesla finally released the FSD Beta 10, which is 2021.24.15. While the download was a few hours later than expected, midnight at uh, Pacific time, it is now in cars of uh, Tesla FSD Beta users. So like I said, the bulk of this update seems to be UI updates. While the release notes indicate just bug fixes for this release, updated in this release are some improvements to the lane lines. These look more matured, closer to what would be in a commercial release. Much of the fuzziness has been removed and lines and colors are clearer. In terms of turns, beta testers are reporting improvements to the confidence in performing turns similar to what we saw between V8 to V9. Now, FSD beta on the highway. In this release, the theory was that we were going to see the same AI-powered, vision-first, stack-powered highway driving uh, of Navigate on autopilot, rather than just city streets. We have now had it confirmed, says TechAU, that the visualization is still switching from what we know as the FSD beta UI back to the regular NOA UI. Now, Waypoints test Tech AU from Australia reports that it has now confirmed that the much anticipated Waypoints feature is not included in this FSD 10 release. Um, now, let's talk about the expansion. One of the big questions around this release uh, by Tesla is that long is the long awaited button to expand the beta user group. Earlier this year, Elon Musk had suggested the group of around 2000 early access beta users would be expanded once the software was ready. With version 10, it seems they have reached a confidence level satisfactory to release it to wider audience. We have also just had confirmation that new people are receiving the beta. At least one person who was granted access to the early access program via email two weeks ago 
has now received the download for FSD Beta 10. Elon Musk had suggested the download button would simply show up for anyone who had purchased FSD and enable them to opt in the beta. This has changed over recent weeks and months to be expanded gradually to ensure maximum safety. What we do know is that this will be US only for now, so those of people uh, living outside uh, uh, United States are likely going to need to be patient and wait a number of months. Given we're in September now, getting access to the FSD beta, for example, in Australia uh, before the end of 2021 seems like a stretch at this point, reports Tech AU. So far, at, risk, at least, it seems the release of FSD uh, 10 by Tesla is not blowing minds, says Tech AU, but is significantly improved. It is worth remembering that this release was originally going to be version 9.3, but was postponed a week and the version then switched to a v10 release friends i'm looking in the general media and tesla discussion groups where people among other things ask if this fsd beta 10 is mind-blowing or no then why is it if it's mind-blowing then why is it still level 2 autonomy is this good enough for robot taxis not yet ben blackburn explains in electrex comment section saying that uh, CAE levels of autonomy refer to the amount of authority the driver is required to have over the car. It doesn't have anything to do with the software capabilities. Level 2, for example, which Tesla vehicles are now in level 2, level 2 means that it has the ability to control its own speed and steering, but the driver still requires to always watch the road. The car takes no liability whatsoever. Level 3 is different thing. Level 3 is where the car takes liability and allows the driver to look away from the road under certain conditions, but the driver has to be instantly ready to take over if prompted. Right now, full self-driving beta could easily maybe do level 3 when in traffic jams and etc. Same with Honda. Honda has a limited level 3 in some cars, level 3 system. But why mess with regulations when it's not really very helpful? The insurance will not take that liability right now, for example. Level 4 is where it can drive with no driver in defined areas, such as what Waymo is doing only in certain residential neighborhoods and such. And level 5 is able to drive under any conditions with no driver. And I think when it's reached level 5, there, there, no, there will no need be for, uh, there will be no need for driver's license. I think driver's licenses will be obsolete because the cars will not have the steering wheels. Now, but the difference between these levels is really what they allow. If they simply remove the steering wheel, nag and driver monitoring camera, it will be a level 5 system but not a reliable one so once they get it to where it can drive itself around cities with no intervention they can simply turn off the line of code that requires the driver to interact with the car and it's a level 5 they have a way to go before they are ready to start testing with no driver but we can see the progress in level 5 in every full self-driving beta video well friends let me know what do you think about Tesla v V10 full self-driving improvements, particularly the roundabout. Do you think it's very small or still a little bit hesitant? In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you like this video, please share in social media and give us thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day. Peace be with all of you. Be kind to each other and God bless you all. See you soon in our next report.